Hi, it's Jan from Janda's Reviews, and I thought I would do my February, did I actually use it? And I'm going to go ahead and mention the ice cream bag, um, but I'm also going to have it in next month's as well, uh, just to see if I use it more, because I've only had it um, about a week now. So it's not really enough time to tell whether or not I'm actually going to use this palette. Um, so, let's get into the first box this month, which was AIA's Beauty Bundle, and this was featuring Jason Wu. Okay, I've already decluttered, I think, only one thing out of this, but I see myself getting rid of a couple more, so. Um, this wasn't as good a box as I had hoped. Um, I, I did enjoy trying out a new brand. Jason Wood was carried at Target and also at jasonwoodbeauty.com. Um, first off, the, I hate the name of it too, the bush. It's a um, brow soap. I didn't have any brows for it, but if you go back to my unboxing video at the beginning of the month, you will see that I did use it on my daughter and I included a couple of photographs of her eyebrows after I'd used it. And it did really well for her, but she has much fuller, thicker brows than I do. So that's just a product that I'm not going to use. Um, I also, I have not tried these, but I don't get breakouts. So um, I'll also be giving these to my daughter. Um, these are the Jason Wu Saved by the Patch Pimple Patches. Um, I'm sure they're very handy. That's great. Then, um, the last thing that's a definite no for me was this Jason Wu Magic Matte Oil. And, um, it's, it's weird. I mean, you shake it out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> And it gets a more viscous looking appearance. It does separate. But um, when I tried it, it peeled up on me, which is always a dead straight no. Won't even give it a, a second chance because peeling just doesn't work. Um, it mattified my skin, but it didn't blur it. It didn't fill the pores. It didn't make anything look smoother. It didn't hydrate. It just... It didn't do anything that I typically would want out of a primer. So this is also a no. I doubt my daughter will want this, um, but we will see. But that's going to be decluttered. Now, out of the products that did work, um, I have on both the lip liners today. Um, they are in Parisian Chic and Royal. I have Royal along the outside edges, and then I have Parisian Chic on the inner. Um, Parisian Chic is a more peachier skin tone, and then uh, Royal is a slightly pinkier skin tone. It's more mauve, cooler tone, where this one is a warmer tone. Likewise, um, we had two of his Hot Fluff lipsticks. These are modern matte lipsticks. They are very creamy. They don't dry out the lips, but I don't really particularly like either shade on my lips. But they said that you could use it like a multi-stick as well. So I did use, um, I'm sorry, this is, what is this color? I've forgotten the name of it. Um, this one is Jelly Roll, and this one is Eclair. Uh, I didn't use Eclair today simply because I went with a cooler toned eye look. So I did use Jelly Roll on my cheeks. That's what I have on today for a blush. It blends out beautifully. It lasts all day. And it doesn't um, sink into creases and fine lines. So it gives the skin a very smooth appearance, which I do like. And then lastly... Um, we have his Matte Agave. I think I've got that upside down, sorry. Nine pan eyeshadow palette. These are, as the name implies, all mattes. 
I have used this a couple of times this month. I like it. Do I think it's something fantastic? No. Once I put it into my makeup rotation, is this something that I'm going to grab when I'm just wanting a very simple brown toned look? Probably not. It's, it's okay. It's nothing fantastic, but it's also not bad. So um, I will be keeping it. I do like all matte eyeshadow palettes. Um, if you're used to a shimmer, I suggest you try using a matte in its place that's just as bright. You'll be surprised if the color pay off and the highlighting effect you'll still achieve with a matte finish. It's, um, it's good. So, next would be the Allure Beauty Box. And I just wasn't wowed by this one. This month just wasn't good for Allure and me. Um, first off, the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Exfoliator. I have tried this in the past. I've got several of them. Um, this is the first full size, but I've received multiple of the sample sizes. And this just, I have other exfoliators. This one is expensive. It's nice, don't get me wrong. Will I use it? Possibly, but um, I didn't need a full size. It was just, eh, it wasn't wow, you know? Um, also, full size, we received the Topicals Like Butter Hydrating Mask. And I have not tried this. I think it will probably be fine. It looks to be more like an ointment consistency from the pictures online that I've seen of it. But I don't need it right now. So this is just a, eh, you know, in the future. Briogeo don't respond. Don't Despair Repair Line, um, their hydrating hair mask. I don't use these things. I have very fine, fine straight hair. So um, hair masks typically make my hair just look oily and unwashed when it's fresh washed. Um, they don't rinse away clean like they claim to. I've just never found one that works for me. Then we have um, the Heritage Store Rosewater refreshing facial mist and this you know would be okay except the rose smell is a bit too strong i'm not a fan of fake rose and this one just doesn't smell good it doesn't trigger a headache it's just not pleasant and that's just personal choice um crabtree and evelyn the velvet evelyn rose velvet body melt now this one i have not used um as soon as I go through my current tub of um, body moisturizer, I will use this one, but I have opened it and smelled it. And this is very delicate rose smell. This is the type that I can do. It's very light and it's mixed in with other floral scents, so it's not overpowering. And then lastly, we have the Model Co. Metallic Eyeshadow Trio, which I had received before in an Allure Beauty Box. Um, uh, October of 2019 so um, yeah I swatched it that's it it's all shimmers and um, they're just not great so I've already decluttered the first original that I had and I'm sure I will declutter this one too because it's just it wasn't appealing there were other eyeshadows that I would pick over this one even when I needed a metallic and I'd be looking through my singles which is where I kept this thinking you know when I wanted a single um, more metallic shade to highlight my lids like I've, I've kind of done today you know um, that I might use one of the shades in here I never did they're all very warm toned and I just don't like them sorry so Allure was kind of a bust um, wasn't thrilled with that. Then we have BoxyCharm. And I really loved my BoxyCharm box this month. I know, really surprising, right? Um, I don't have one product in here, but I am using it. I'll get to that. Um, first off, we have the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. And that is what I used on my eyes today. Um, you see, I, I attempted without going as pink as she did. 
then I kind of wanted that appearance. Um, I have used this a couple of times. I do really like it. I like that it's a very bright and light palette. It does have a couple of um, deeper shades here, which are very useful. Um, this shade looks deep, but it's really not. It's what I've got in my crease here, but that was it was still too light, so I had to deepen it up with Vortex here. Very, very um, confusing shade. And this is what I have over my lids. It's very um, transparent and glittery. It made a huge mess. Um, but I have this um, green shade underneath it. So, yeah. I like this palette. I'm glad I've got it. I've been wanting it. Um, I still, you know, I don't know. I might throw in a comparison of this and the... Um, beauty glazed copycat palette of this haven't made up my mind about that still but I really really did enjoy it I uh, never used the Christoph Robin volumizer hair volume what was this instant volumizing leave-in mist so I can't really say whether I like it or not it's basically a texturizing spray for your roots the directions are a little vague, so it, I don't know, that just makes me nervous. So I haven't used it, sorry. Then we have the Vike Makeup Melt. I did use this when I was swatching things. Um, it's not something that I'd wanna use all the time, but on days like today where I do have a full face of makeup, I have on um, tinted moisturizer, blush, bronzer, eyebrows, heavy eye makeup, you know, three different mascaras. Yeah, three. <laughs> I would probably use this. Um, I do like that it starts melting on contact so you don't even have to rub. Uh, it says that you, to remove it, you can just splash water, but we all know I'm, I'm not a big water splasher kind of gal. So more than likely I will be using, you know, a makeup eraser that's wet and just you know finish it off with that uh it doesn't dry the skin and it doesn't leave an oily residue behind either so very pleasantly surprised by that so while i won't use this all the time i do think it's very handy to have it it's like a um what are those cleansing balms in spray form and then Dime Beauty, their uh, Lash Boosting Serum. I have been using it. I have forgotten a few times this month. Um, so I am putting it on my eyelashes and on my eyebrows. And I haven't noticed a significant difference, but it hasn't been full 30 days either. Um, February just doesn't have 30 days. But... Uh, I haven't noticed a big difference in my lashes. You're supposed to see a fairly big difference, you know, after a month's use. Uh, but my eyebrows have darkened. Uh, I haven't noticed any new growth, but the hair that I do have seems to be darker. And I don't know if it's a temporary stain that it leaves on the hairs or what, but I don't know. Maybe that's why people think their lashes look fuller uh, because it darkens them. I, I'm just... I'm not sure, but I haven't noticed any new growth. Then the last two items um, we have from Moonlit Beauty, um, Prime, Prime the Night, Prime for the Night. What is this again? Primed for the Night. This is their eyeshadow primer. I meant to use this today and I just forgot. I meant to use it several times this month. I just forgot <laughs> when I used it in my try on and unboxing from BoxyCharm, the first, of the, well, middle of the month, I guess. I do really like it. It is a very smoothing formula. It's not sticky at all. And um, it does add a little coverage, not a lot, but a little. So it was, I like it. It will go in with my other eyeshadow primers. I'm not going to declutter it. It's just, um, I kept forgetting to grab it. Then lastly, we have from, I think this is from Persona. No, Uoma Beauty. The Badass MF Motherfucker 
lip liner in Anjalu. Um, I like it. It's a really pretty color. It's very creamy. I don't particularly care for the name, but I like it. It's, it's a good liner. So, um, I didn't really need three lip liners today. So I just, I went with the other two from Jason Wu rather than this one. Since I used the eyeshadow palette from this, I used the lip liners from the Jason Wu and I didn't have any you know, bronzers, highlighters, blushes type products out of any of the boxes that I could have used, so I didn't use that. So, um, lastly, I'm gonna mention it, you know, just so far this month, and then I'll probably mention it again next month when I've had a whole month's worth of use out of it rather than a week. Uh, from Ice Cream Beauty, we have the Rachel Couture lip gloss and sass and I don't like the color I don't like the finish um, the feel of it's okay but yeah this is gonna get decluttered I almost immediately I know I'm not gonna use it I didn't like it when I had it on before I just yeah that's a no um, I still have not tried the Mirabella prime for face and I imagine I will like it. Uh, it does seem to be from the ingredient list at any rate. It seems like it would be a very smoothing primer. I don't know if it's going to be drying or hydrating or just smoothing and that's it. We shall see. <clears throat> and then we have the Irresistible Palette by Beauty Creations. And in my unboxing video, I mentioned that I thought that it uh, more resembled the Huda Beauty Rose Gold. And when I did a side-by-side -side swatch comparison with all these colors, I was really surprised to find that it had more in common with the ABH Modern Renaissance, which had been noted by others that had tried this palette before me on um, YouTube. But it still surprised me. Um, it is a 15 shade palette. It is not a spot on match for every single color in the ABH palette, which is surprising. Um, now, if you just look at the, the pans set side by side, they do resemble one another, but when you swatch them out, not as much. Um, the ABH Modern Renaissance had 11 spot on matches with the Irresistible, and then the Huda Rose Gold Remastered palette had nine. So, yeah, if you have either one of those palettes or you've wanted them, you might check out Beauty Creations Irresistible. It's a lot more affordable. Um, as I've only had this a week, I have not reused it yet, but it's a really pretty one and I do like it. Um, I've just been doing more basic eye looks I guess so um let me grab my handy dandy notes and we shall do the money side of things okay so if we're looking at the money aspect of things and I'm not going to include the ice cream beauty box beauty bag in this one since I am going to um, reserve judgment until I've had it more than a week I'm just going to use these three boxes um AIA is a $35 box. Boxy or Allure is $23. And then Boxy Charm is $39.99. But for simplicity, we're just going to say $40. What's a penny, right? So that's $98 worth of boxes. So did I get $98 worth of products that I actually used? So um, let's see. If we add all of them that I anticipate liking as well, then we get a pretty good number here. We get um, a total of $59 for the AIA. Then for Allure, not as great. We get $34.08 for the Like Butter Mask. And we get another $2.08 for the Crabtree and Evelyn body melt. Okay. I'm 
having technical issues. My um, camera stand keeps dropping my camera out. So I don't know what the problem is with it exactly, but since I only have the one last box to talk about, I'm just going to hold my camera and um, we'll go from there. Okay, my last box is BoxyCharm, $40 box. So, everything, granted, I have not used the Christoph Robin spray yet. Um, I imagine it's perfectly fine for a root lifter. I just haven't used it. So, that's, I like everything, have used everything except this one spray. So, that's $39 out of $208. Um, so, I didn't add that up. I know that's really bad, isn't it? It's $169, I think. Let me know if I, I my math's incorrect. It may be. Sorry. Um, anyway, I liked everything. So, we have, um, as I mentioned before, $98 for a box total. And if we add all three boxes up for things that I did like and used, we have a total of $228, which is not bad. Um, that's more than double the 98 cost of the boxes. So even with Allure being a dud, because it's usually my highest dollar um, value for the box, it just wasn't this month. Um, if I had liked the Dr. Brandt microdermabrasion, we would have seen a much, much higher return on um, the value. Skincare products generally are just really expensive, which is insane. Um, it shouldn't cost a lot of money to take care of your skin. So, if I add in the things that I have not used but anticipate liking, then our final total will be $301.08. And that is including everything that I mentioned that I used again, plus the Christoph Robin, the deluxe sample of the Crabtree and Evelyn, and the full-size topicals like butter mask. So, um, not bad, right? So that's it for this month. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this. Stay tuned. I'll have more videos coming your way very soon. Bye.